Hello guys and gals, Mikey once again from Games for Charities, and tonight I'm in Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls Hardcore, and I am currently going to show you guys my build for my Witch Doctor. I uh, just hit 70 on this Witch Doctor about a week ago, and I didn't really have gear for it, so I just started throwing some stuff together. I'm already hitting tier 30 for Greater Risk, which is pretty cool. Um, I like to call this build my Plague Swarm. It's mainly a pet build that has a lot of poison. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all the stuff that I have. First of all, actually, I'll go with skills. We have Plague of Toads, and we have the Reign of Toads rune on that. Of course, that's poison there. Uh, we have Acid Cloud, which is poison, with the uh, Acid Rain rune. We have Summon Zombie Dogs, which we have Rabid Dogs for Poison. We have Spirit Walk with Jaunt. This is my one and only escape. We have Haunt with Poison Spirit. Gotta love that poison. We have uh, Fetish Army. Now, this one I did not go Poison on. Um, I'm not even sure why I didn't. I should. But, whatever. You know what? I'm probably going to end up switching this to it just because I forget why I didn't before, especially with the gear that I have, would be smarter too. But I'm guessing this was before they stayed forever, so yeah, I'm going to actually switch that right now. Yeah, it's going to definitely be more worth it. All right. <laughs> and we have Jungle Fortitude, which I can probably get rid of this by now and switch it out for something else, and you'll see why when I get to my gear. Um, then I have Spirit Vessel, which... I could probably get rid of this too, but I'd like to have it, just in case of the death, with the fatal damage there. And I have a Zombie Handler. And last but not least, I have Fetish Psycho Fans. What the heck? Oh yeah, that's right, okay. So there's my skills there. Now here's what I have for items. Now this is obviously something I want to replace here. This helm, I really love it. Um, I plan on using this in the transmog thingy, you know, so I can use this as a skill uh, once I find another helm that I want. The helm that I actually want to replace this with is the one that lets the uh, minions, gives you your minions 200% damage increase. So I'm really looking for that helm, because uh, 200% more damage from my minions would just be crazy. Then we have... Uh, Mara's Kaleidoscope. I don't want to keep this, but this is currently what I have. It was the best thing that I could find, so I've got it for now. Uh, this is another thing. I don't want to keep it, but it's what I have for now. Now, four pieces of this really helps, um, especially because when you get the four-piece set, you and your pets take 2% less damage for every fetish you have alive. So, I now have seven fetishes alive. Once, uh, because of my skill, once I go and attack, I'm going to get 15 more. So with that, that's 22. That's going to be 44% less damage my pets and I take. Which is pretty freaking crazy. Um, see, I can actually get rid of this because everything. I'm not sure if they stack. I don't think they do. I'll have to check with my skill. I'm not sure what the maximum is. Uh, if it is 15 with just that skill, then I actually don't need this. But I originally started off with this, and then later on switched that with that skill. Um, we have the gloves here. Ring. The pants. The noggle ring uh, was actually an upgrade, and then once I saw the fallen lunatic, that's actually pretty freaking crazy. Because uh, sometimes I'm running along through stuff, and they run up, and they just... they totally obliterate a whole pack of mobs. So it's actually a pretty cool freaking thing. And, you know, they are taking on bonuses from my pets, so that really works. We have this. I used to have a weapon that summoned, I forget what the heck, that summoned the five skeletons, and then they blew up. Um, but this was a major upgrade, so I went to this. Then the boots here, which this is not something that I want to keep, but it's what I had at the time. And for... 
my gems, I have the Enforcer, which is currently rank 30. I have uh, the Toxic, which is rank 30. Again, that's Poison. And poisons all enemies for 350% weapons damage. And all enemies you poison take 10% increased damage from all sources. So that's just, you know, crazy. I do want to start also getting items that have bonuses to poison, seeing I am all poison. And the last ring I have is the Stone of Vengeance, which I get 5.3% damage for every 10 yards between me and them. Um, I also have a 20% chance to stun them. Now, I pretty much stay at range and just let these guys tank. I use Spirit Walk if I need to to get away. Uh, Haunt is really nice, especially when you get to, you know, single bosses at the end of, you know, rifts. That really helps. Uh, P-level wise, you can just see here, I mean, you can do whatever you want with it. Um, attack speed and cooldown reduction are nice. Actually, cooldown reduction isn't really as important anymore because I just need it for Spirit Walk, and that's almost never on cooldown. So I can actually switch that around and increase this up, which I will do shortly. Resist all always important. I have this here. So I do not have Unity yet. Once I get Unity, I think I'm going to be a lot tougher. I will uh, definitely be able to do Torment 8, which I think I probably could do now. It would be, you know, risky. Um, but once I have Unity, I think I could easily go through 8 and, you know, possibly go through 9. So I'll go ahead and show you the Kane's powers down here quick. So currently I have Conviction of Elements, which really is awesome, especially when it comes up on Poison. 200% increased damage to a single element. Um, running Torment 7 when this is active, and I use my uh, Acid Rain as a cloud, this lots of times will instantly kill the whole pack that I'm just doing it on, which is pretty awesome. Um, I have Ice Climbers, which, I'm, like I said, I want to switch that out with the Helm here. And then for my weapon, I currently have this here which I'll probably end up finding something else better for this guy. Uh, well, like, see, that right there would actually be better for me if I wanted more survivability. I mean, there's quite a few things that I could actually do. Um, but anyways, guys and girls, that's the pretty much gist of it. And you can check out some of my other videos if you want to see me using this guy. It's a pretty fun build, a uh, pretty good build in my opinion. I don't know, I don't usually get on the forum, so I'm not sure what, you know, is currently used and what isn't, and there's my potion right there. For my follower, like I said, he doesn't have unity. He's got all skills. I do want to have get unity and get the thing where he doesn't die. Um, I need to get a better weapon. Like I said, oh my gosh, necklace is really outdated. Ring's really outdated. Like I said, this is just thrown together from a week ago, but already it tears up stuff. Anyways, guys and gals, thanks for watching, and I'm sure I'll see you again soon. Cheers.